Based on the success of four previous tests, China's long-cherished dream of manned space flight uh, turned into a reality on October the 15th, 2003, with the launch of Shenzhou 5 and Shenzhou 6 two years later. Now, let's take a look at the development of China's space program and the differences and improvements between the two manned space ships. Shenzhou 1 was launched from the Jiuquan Launch Center on November 20, 1999, and landed in Sanshu in the Mongolia Autonomous Region the next day. It was the first rocket to be built and tested in a standing position, and also the first to be transported and launched from a standing position. Improving its predecessor, several incremental technological improvements were made to Shenzhou 2. Bioscience and space material experiments were undertaken in the spaceship in zero gravity conditions. The launch of Shenzhou 3 proved the overall feasibility of China's manned flight program. A dummy astronaut was placed in the spaceship to provide important data on human reactions to living in space, such as pulse rate, blood pressure, breathing, and digestion. Shenzhou 4 was China's last unmanned spaceflight experiment. The spacecraft was equipped with 52 facilities for scientific research, and some experiments were conducted in space. These four successful unmanned space flights paved the way for the launch of Shenzhou 5, making China's dream of a manned space flight finally come true. On October the 12th, 2005, China's second manned spacecraft successfully took off from the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center. Carrying two astronauts on a five-day mission, the launch marked a major milestone for China's space program. Uh, the major task of Shenzhou 6 is to verify the crew safety and the system reliability by putting two astronauts for five days in space and return safely is a good verification for environmental control and life support system and also for re-entry and landing system. Shenzhou 5 launched astronaut Yang Liwei on a 21-hour mission in 2003. During the mission, Yang was strapped in his chair. The lonely astronaut never left his seat in the re-entry module or took off his spacesuit. With Shenzhou 6, however, astronauts Fei Yunlong and Ni Haishen spent five days in space, facing several challenges and difficulties. Among the crew's onboard amenities were hot food, sleeping bags, and essential sanitary equipment. The sleeping bag was hooked to a wall of the orbit cabin, and the crew had alternating sleep periods. Fei and Yi had a far wider range of food available to them. Rice was the stable, beef cooked, and vegetables were also on the menu, along with coffee, green tea, orange juice, and food. Two years ago, Yang had nothing more than mooncakes and cold water. The most important improvement was that the astronauts entered the orbit cabin for the first time from the re-entry module, taking off their heavy spacesuits and conducting experiments and scientific research in work clothes in the cabin. For Shenzhou 6, more than 110 technical modifications were made based on the experience of Shenzhou 5, 
improving the comfort and safety of manned space flights. Shenzhou 5 was a historical breakthrough in China's space program, and Shenzhou 6 was another major milestone. The flights marked China's entry into the era of manned scientific experiments in space. He Mingzhi, CCTV.